This damage is broken. In season 21, we have received a ton of buffs to old exotics. One of the more notable ones is surprisingly actually Oathkeeper. I am really excited to show you guys this build because this is my go-to build for Hunter in PvE this season. With this build, you will be shredding through literally every single activity in the game, spamming infinite weak and making everything fall over. Look at this damage, bro. I just did 80,000 damage with a primary weapon. What is this damage? We also casually get infinite invisibility, devour, and overshield, making us basically immortal. You are not going to want to miss a single step adding to this insane power so be sure to pay attention it's good guys it's zen and if you know me you know i'm not going to waste your time with my videos so let's hop right into the build now first of all we have our exotic of choice oath keeper this exotic lets you hold your bow indefinitely but if you fire within a small window you get a huge damage bonus on your bows now i went ahead and tested it and firing two wish ender shots without the buff did 82,000 damage versus one charge shot doing 61,000. So obviously spamming shots is optimal for DPS, but you won't always have an opening, so just get damaging where you can, and sometimes it'll have the Oathkeeper damage increase. Oathkeeper also gives you an increase to your draw speed, so no matter how you decide to use it, your bow DPS will always be increased with this exotic. Now this is a pretty good segue to get into our weapons of choice. After that, we will discuss what makes this strong kit even more insane. Overshield, Devour, Invisibility, Infinite Weaken, and Surge Mods. Now at a glance, you'd think we have three exotic bows to choose from each powerful and each stunning a different champion. First we have Wish Ender which fires off 3 high damage shots and gives you wall hacks. These wall hacks actually prove to be very useful in endgame PvE. Knowing when a Scion Sniper is about to peak can be the difference between taking heavy damage or not. Also it feels like 80% of activities have barrier champions which this bow stuns intrinsically. The next option is Le Monarch. This weapon stuns overload champions, and it also is great for ad clear due to its explosion of poison AoE damage. This bow has two issues though, one being that it's locked to the energy slot. There's a ton of special energy weapons that compete with this slot, but it is a fine choice nonetheless. It is especially powerful since this bow is void, which I will explain the relevance of in a second. Keep in mind, Wish Ender also does nearly double the damage of Lemonarch. Our final Giga Chad option is Leviathan's Breath, except you have been baited, because this is not an option at all. This exotic is currently bugged with Oath Keepers. I tested it several times, and we are simply not getting the damage buff. Also, even if it did work, Leviathan is a heavy weapon, so it cannot take advantage of our infinite weakened spam, which makes this build so strong. And with that, let's discuss what makes this build so damn powerful, giving us infinite weaken, surge mod damage bonus, invisibility, devour, and overshield. In Season 21, we have a new artifact perk called Supernova. This artifact mod creates a large weakening explosion after picking up a Void Breach, then hitting a target with Void Damage. This explosion radius isn't small by by any means, and it also applies to the target you just landed a shot on. I'd really like to highlight the language on this artifact perk. It says the weakened explosion is caused by your next source of void damage, meaning our weapons apply it, and we don't need a kill to activate. Now on top of this weaken effect, we will also be getting overshield from void breaches with the artifact perk Protective Breach. Now we will be spamming void breaches constantly with the artifact perk Unto the Breach, which spawns one when defeating a void debuffed enemy. All of our enemies will be void debuffed by the explosion from Supernova, so these three mods synergize excellently, giving us an insane gameplay loop of infinite weaken. Now you may be asking yourself, how do we start the loop? And with that, let's hop into our subclass to discuss. First, we will be using the Fragment Echo of Undermining. This makes our grenades weaken targets, which will start the infinite Void Breach weaken loop from the artifact mods. Also, our melee Snare Bomb causes weaken to targets. Our next fragment is Echo of Starvation, which gives us Devour when picking up a Void Breach. Devour is extremely powerful, since while it is active, killing an enemy brings you back to full HP. Next, we have Echo of Remnants, which will allow our grenade to remain on the field for a longer duration, increasing its damage. Finally, we will of course be using Echo of Persistence to to increase the duration of our invisibility, devour, and overshield. For our aspects, we will of course be using Vanishing Step, which causes us to become invisible while dodging, and Stylish Executioner. Stylus Executioner causes us to become invisible when defeating void debuff targets, which again, with this build, means every single target. For your grenade, I recommend Vortex, since this often can kill a group of adds by itself and does heavy damage to champions as well. For your super, I recommend Mobius Quiver for solo activities due to its high burst damage, and Deadfall if you are in a group activity due to its long-lasting weakened debuff. Now that is the bulk of the power with this build, but we have mods that make it even stronger, and we still have to answer the question of which bow you should really be using. Now firstly, in terms of which bow to use, although Lemonarch is void and will help us spam the debuff, 
Its damage is just nothing when compared with Wish Ender, making Wish Ender our clear choice here. If you do not have Wish Ender, just search for a guide on YouTube, there are plenty of videos on the topic. Now with our choice being Wish Ender, you will of course need to pair it with a Void Energy weapon in order to proc your infinite weaken. And for that, you'd simply run a Glaive if you are fighting Unstoppables, or a Trace Rifle if you are fighting Overloads. Then your Heavy should pretty much always be an Arc Rocket, or machine gun due to the arc surge lasting all season. Now let's discuss armor mods. For our helmet, we'll need heavy and special ammo finder as well as kinetic siphon to spawn orbs for our surge mods. We need to make sure our void energy weapon always has ammo in order to proc our infinite weaken spam. Also, wish ender pierces through targets, so kinetic siphon is super easy to proc and will happen very often. For the arms, you'll want firepower to spawn orbs of power for surge mods and two stacks of melee kickstart. Keep in mind, this artifact mod reduces melee kickstart's cost to only one. Since we need void ammo for our gameplay loop, I recommend three stacks of void reserves. This artifact mod also reduces void reserves energy cost to only one. Then for your legs, you'll want two kinetic surge mods for that nice 17% damage bonus to wish under for 15 seconds after picking up an orb of power, and you'll want a void scavenger mod for your ammo economy. For your class item, you'll want time dilation which extends the duration of our kinetic surge, and two barmer mods to help with our ability uptime. Finally, you'll want 100 resilience for that nice 30% damage reduction and as much discipline and strength as possible for our weakened abilities. Now our gameplay loop here is very simple. We're gonna throw a grenade or melee to weaken a target, kill them with Wish Ender, then pick up a Void Breach. After that, all we need to do is hit them with our Void Special, then finish them with Wish Ender, and we will just repeat that. Hit them with our Void Weapon, finish them with Wish Ender, pick up the Void Breach. Picking up the Void Breach will give us Devour and Overshield, and we will become invisible for killing all of these enemies since they are all weakened. Spamming that, we will literally have infinite weaken and near infinite surge stacks. It's so simple, but ridiculously powerful, guys. And that's the build, guys. Follow these tips and you will be dishing out insane damage and have all three void sustain effects up constantly. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe for daily Destiny 2 videos. Either way, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.